Hello, Dawn of Faith viewers. I want to welcome you again to today's episode. If you are new here, karibu sana. If you've been watching us since the first episode, thank you very much. And we'd like to encourage you to share our messages to your friends, your family. And as you are blessed, we also want them to be blessed. At our today's topic, uh, we'll, we will continue with the parable of the hidden treasure. But today we are going to look at a particular aspect. Uh, and it is searching for the scripture. And before we do that, let us pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for being faithful and we thank you for guiding us, O oh Lord. We pray that as we are to understand this particular topic, we ask of you that may you may your Holy Spirit help us understand. And from this topic, we ask that may it bring us closer to you. Renew our mind, refresh us, O oh Lord, and give us a spirit of discernment. And O oh Lord, may we be transformed and reformed through your word. For Jesus name I do pray and believe. Amen. I know many of us that attend churches, we go to church, we hear the sermon presented by the servant of God, and then we go home. And once we've gone home, we, we just leave it at that. We do not do, we neglect personal study. We don't do study for scripture. I want you to imagine that this was your personal business, that this was your temporal need, that you wanted to achieve something like ABCD. How much diligent would you have done? Let's say, for instance, you have a business to sell ABCD. How much effort would you have put into that and what more would you have done? I know some of us will go through lengths. We will give it our all. We will give both our finances, our mind, our attention, and all that. And now, this is just for filling a temporal need. But now imagine going to heaven, living an eternal life. How much more do we need to put our attention to. I know some people may think that it's a work-based salvation, but what I'm trying to say, we cannot earn our salvation through works, but we need to have, show seriousness, show eagerness for our salvation. We do not need to settle for less because when you look at God's creation, everything speaks of excellence. And so also, we ourselves, we need to show excellence. Just the same way we give diligence on temporal issues, we should also be diligent on matters of salvation. We should be contented by just someone's alone. We should go home and study the scriptures. I know um, most of the preachers that we have here, we've, we, we've always wondered how cults, develop. But cults usually develop when there's a vacuum where church members are not reading the scripture for themselves. So you end up that the scripture is being explained by a particular leader. And since you're not doing a personal study, so you end up believing what the theory is that the leader is saying. And Jesus warned us in the book of Mark that uh, some are teaching the Bible after the commandments of men. In the book of Mark 7 verse 7, saying that the Pharisees during his time, they were teaching very uh, foreign uh, doctrine. They were teaching commandments of God rather than allowing the scripture to speak of itself. And so you as a member, you might not know if the pastor is preaching the commandments of men. You can only know this if you are doing a diligent study of the scripture. And many of us, when we come into the scripture, we shall have like a presupposition of issues. We read the Bible with the lenses of our opinion. So for instance, you, you've always known that uh, a, something as in like a, a particular doctrine, A, B, C, D has to be this. And so we, we limit the Bible from explaining itself. We come opinionated than coming with an open heart and allowing the Holy Spirit to speak to us 
through the scripture. So I want to encourage you today that when you're reading the Bible, please read it with an open heart. Allow the Bible to interpret itself. Do not just come there with your presuppositions. Allow it to speak to you as it is. If you look at the Bible, the Bible has been written for over a period of 1,500 years. And through those periods, it has been written by, diff by 40 different authors. And they, the, the theme has always been consistent. And so some of us uh, usually have this idea that we go and pick a particular verse somewhere and we run with it. But the Bible is not supposed to be read that way. You're supposed to, if you're looking at a theme, you're supposed to look at it from all different angles, how it has been written. And then once you collectively combine all those angles, you can be able to get the message as a whole. And so let's read the Bible. Let us search for it. The same way we diligently do our human businesses, that is the same way we should diligently search the scripture and with earnestness and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us. In the book of John 17, verse 3, the Bible says that this is life eternal, that they may know you, a true God and Jesus Christ, the one you sent. And so knowing Jesus should be our greatest need. And we can only know Jesus through the scripture. And so dear, dear friends, dear brothers, dear sisters, I want to encourage us today to search the scriptures and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us. And as we continue to do this, may God bless us. See you again in our next episode.